What's up, gals and pals? I'm Coach Vino. This is the Progress Bar. And last week, I showed you guys how to make Coach Vino's homemade limoncello. Now, if you missed that video, I'm going to put a link down in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. Now, if you did watch my video and you haven't made my homemade limoncello yet, what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> well, hopefully today I can give you more incentive to go ahead and make it because I'm going to show you guys how to make three cocktails using limoncello. But before I do that, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor and hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can help Vino feed the hungry, hungry algorithm. And then make sure you stick around because we're going to boogie down. All right, folks, so the first limoncello cocktail that we're making is a riff on another popular Italian drink, uh, the Negroni, and this one is called the Yellow Negroni. The Yellow Negroni was created by Simon Difford at the Cabin Room in London, England. All right, let us look at what is in the sauce for our Yellow Negroni. Now, the Yellow Negroni, like any Negroni, is an equal parts cocktail, so we're going to start with three quarters of an ounce of our homemade limoncello. All right, again, if you have the store-bought stuff, go ahead and use it. But, you know, don't complain to me if the drink isn't as good. <laughs> then we're going to do three quarters an ounce of a Pisco. I'm going to be using a Capel, which is a Chilean Pisco. So Peruvians, if you're watching, please don't shoot me. I, Vino loves you. <laughs> then we're going to do three quarters an ounce of a Gentian Liqueur. And I'm going to be using Suze, which is kind of like, you know, the Gentian Liqueurs of Gentian Liqueurs. And then we're going to do three quarters an ounce of Yellow Chartreuse. All right, uh, this stuff, you know, isn't as hard to find as uh, we initially thought. I think people went kind of crazy, but it's it's out there now. So you should be able to find your yellow chartreuse, all right? And then we're going to do three quarters an ounce of Bianco Vermouth. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're just going to go ahead and add some ice to our stirring glass, our mixing glass. <laughs> I mean, technically it's a stirring glass, right? And then we're going to stir it for 25 to 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we stirred this bad boy up enough. Ooh, yummy. All right, so let's go ahead and get our glass out. We're going to be serving this in a rocks glass. I have a big old rock in there. We're going to pour this bad boy right in. All right, look at that. Look at that color. I mean, that is definitely a yellow Negroni, folks. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and garnish that with a lemon peel. I'm just going to express it a little bit there. All right, and just lay it right on top. And there we have it, folks our yellow Negroni. All right, so before we get into our next limoncello cocktail, let's go ahead and give our yellow Negroni a sippy sip. Obviously on the nose, you're gonna get a whole lot of lemon, a whole lot of citrus in that, all right? Cheers. Oh, that is, that is really, Really delicious guys. I mean, wow. I really like this. Mm. Oh Yeah You know what really works really well in this cocktail is the Suze. I mean it is really It's showing up, but it's complementing the lemon in a really fantastic way guys This is a delicious and a groaning riff and a fantastic way to use your limoncello, you know the limoncello it's still front and center, but it plays really well. And I think that the Capel, the uh, the uh, Pisco, adds a really nice kind of floral sweetness to it. This is a delicious cocktail, folks. Really, really, really nice. Nice, like, you know, I would consider it more kind of like an after dinner drink, you know? Mm. Oh yeah. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get into our next cocktail, which is called the Trato Limoncello. The Trato Limoncello was created by Cynthia Tran at Trato Restaurant in San Francisco, California. All right, folks, let us look at what is in the sauce for our Trato Limoncello. The first thing we're going to need is an ounce and a half of our Limoncello. All right, so this one's going to go very heavy on the Limoncello, which, you know, works out for me. Then we're doing an ounce and a half of a bourbon. I'm going to be using Old Grandad. All right, so lemon and bourbon work really well together. As you know, a whiskey sour is a super popular classic cocktail. Okay, now we're going to need a half an ounce of a dry vermouth. All right, this is the element of the cocktail that's intriguing to say the least. And then you're gonna do one dash of Angostura bitters and one dash of orange bitters, all right? And we're gonna add ice to our mixing glass or stirring glass. <laughs> and then we're gonna stir it after about 25 to 30 seconds. 
All right, folks, I think we stirred that bad boy up enough. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and put that to the side. All right, I mean, just off of that, I got like some butterscotch notes, which is interesting. All right, now we're just gonna fill out a, a rocks glass, an old-fashioned glass with some, uh, with some ice. All right, there you go. And let's go ahead and pour our drinking. All right. That color looks like it has like grapefruit or something in there, right? It's got like that grapefruit tone to it. All right, so we're gonna put that to the side and we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that once again with a lemon peel. I'm gonna express the peel and just lay that right on top. And there we have it, folks, our Trato Limoncello. All right, folks, so before we get into our final cocktail, let's go ahead and give our Trato Limoncello a sippy sip. Cheers. Obviously, at the nose, you're going to get a whole lot of lemon notes, which, you know, Vino loves that stuff. I got a little ice bits in my mouth. <laughs> um, this is a nice little cocktail, folks. This is definitely a limoncello forward cocktail. You're going to get a whole lot of lemon notes. Um, you definitely pick up a lot of that sweetness from the limoncello. The bourbon shows up. It does have like a kind of a slight back end of corn. The dry vermouth is actually a lot more present than I had anticipated, um, but it is a nice little cocktail. Definitely worth trying if you want to make yourself another limoncello cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get into our third and final cocktail, the Procrastinator Cocktail. The Procrastination Cocktail was created by Paul Clark, author of the book, The Cocktail Chronicles. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what is in the sauce for our procrastination cocktail. The first thing you're gonna need is three quarters an ounce of our limoncello, all right? Thank you, limoncello, you served us well today, all right? And then you're gonna want two ounces of a gin, okay? I'm gonna be using Warwick gin, which is made right here in uh, Nueva York. Ooh, hoo -hoo, just enough. Look at that, right to the graveyard, live on TV, folks. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna need a half an ounce of dry vermouth. All right, I'm gonna be using Dolan. And then we need a quarter ounce of another part of the chartreuse family, the green chartreuse. All right, so a quarter ounce of green chartreuse. Now, this is one of my favorite liqueurs. And I'm excited to see how it comes out, how it shows up in this cocktail, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and add some ice to our Mixing glass. And we're gonna stir it out for about 25 to 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we stirred this bad boy up enough. All right, now we're gonna put this to the side and get our glass out. I'm gonna be serving that in a coupe, which has been chilling like a villain. Ooh, actually, let me go ahead and, uh, actually it's a stirred, so I don't have to double strain it. There you go, folks. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that wash line, baby boy. Beautiful, love it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a lemon peel, which I've got here, speared on a sword. And there you have it, folks, our procrastination cocktail. All right, so let's go ahead and give our last limoncello cocktail a sippy sip. Cheers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that is <laughs> that is completely up my alley, folks. That is fan-freaking-tastic. It has a lot of last word elements going on here. You know what I'm saying? It has like a really bold, bold flavor profile. Oh, this is so good. Mm. You know, the two ounces of gin really come shining through. You get a lot of those delicious botanical notes, but the limoncello just really helps to bring out a lot of those citrus notes that you get from the, uh, um, from the gin. And then obviously the green chartreuse also kind of helps to elevate a lot of those botanical notes. So this is a delicious cocktail, ton of flavors, super deep, super complex. Mm. Oh yeah, this is delicious. There's a lot going on here, folks. All right, so there you have it, folks. Three limon cello cocktails i gotta tell you at least two of these i really really enjoyed i thought this was a good cocktail too but these were really standouts for me personally um i think if, you know you will enjoy this cocktail as well um anyway folks look if you like this video please press like 
please subscribe and please share it with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring. And when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Or make yourself some limoncello, then make yourself a limoncello cocktail. Cheers.